Hello there, yarn lovers. It's Gary, and I'm coming to you from my happy place, the Yarn Corner here on Vancouver Island in Canada. So welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Friday, April the 5th, 2024. How are you all doing? I hope you're well and staying safe. Now, you might notice through the course of this video that I'm a little discombobulated, getting a bit tongue-tied, maybe not uh, speaking proper sentences, like now stumbling over words. It's because I've had a hard work week and we all know how that feels. So I'm just going to run with it. And I do apologize if I make any fluffs along the way. <laughs> if I do and I need to correct them, they'll be down in the description box down below. So I want to welcome people who have just arrived here for the very first time. I've set this channel up to talk about all of my yarny adventures. That's in knit, crochet. I dabble in a little bit of yarn dyeing. And I'll talk about where I buy my yarn from or tools of my craft. So if that's of interest, please stick around. For those returning, I want to say welcome back. And I do appreciate all the comments that you left in the last video where I was explaining about my trip to Illinois and also it happened to be my birthday. So I got well wishes and it's very heartfelt. Thank you so much. Whenever I feel uninspired or down, or if there is something that's sort of, dra I'm dragging my heels, I just go back and read some of the comments and it really does uplift me. So I do appreciate those positive sentiments and they do come back and reward me later when the time is needed. So thank you so much for sending them. Uh, yeah, so this will be part two of my trip to Illinois, visiting Yanni friends that I've made here on YouTube. Now, in particular, this yarn that I've got here is uh, has stories wrapped around two and maybe three individuals along the way. Uh, so that those culprits are Rose from Rose Likes Crochet, Crystal from Bag of Day, and a secret one that I wasn't expecting to meet, but I was very, very excited about meeting for the first time, and that's Lisa from Happy to Hook Creations. Uh, so yes, I will include all of these Yarny friends down below in the description box. And if you're happening across this channel for the very first time and have not heard of them before, because who wouldn't have heard of them? Because they're so wonderfully talented, full of wisdom, and they offer up so many uh, inspiration stitches and they talk about patterns they talk about yarns that they've found they're just full of knowledge so please do go across and visit them and say hi from me uh so yeah i met these wonderful people along the way it sounds like the wizard of oz doesn't it like a story i'm going to break into but yeah i forgot something already you see friday and i'm forgetting things what Hank's wearing. I hear you calling. What is Hank wearing? So let's take a look. It is a knitted shawl from a pattern that I knitted on. And it's a Stephen West pattern called Exploration Station. I'm looking up there because I think that that's maybe where I can find my words, but it's not working. And uh, I really did learn a lot. It was about two and a half years ago I completed it. I love the colors. It was when I was playing with all different types of fingering weight yarns from different brands. Some were speckled, some were kind of tonal, and I really enjoyed uh, that that pattern gave me the opportunity to, to really celebrate those mixes. Okay, so uh, patterns also will be included down in the description box if you're looking for uh, the pattern where you can find it. It's down there, so go down there. All right, so Chicago. We arrived there on March 22nd, and Rose was there to pick us up from the airport. Thank you, Rose. You're our guiding light in many ways. Uh, but for that day, you were our driver to get us safely to our hotel. And Chicago is a w very walkable city. The neighborhood that we were in was quite friendly and we felt safe walking around. So the neighborhood was north of the loop or north of the river and uh, very close to the Magnificent Mile. There goes Pixel. After two days of wandering the streets and seeing some museums in Chicago, Rose came to pick us up and we were making our journey towards Crystal's place. Halfway through our road trip, we stopped to have lunch and 
in the same complex or across the road, there was a Michaels. So I was like, let's go and see what Michaels has in the United States that's different from us here in Canada. And I have to say, Canadians, that we should continue shopping Canadian stores because the price point and the strength of the Canadian dollar right now is so weak that if you were to go down to the States, even though the ticketed price is cheaper on the balls of yarn, when you do the conversion, it's actually more expensive than the ticketed item in the Canadian store. Uh, so I think it's well worth our while just to shop at Michael's here in Canada. Uh, this yarn that I'm going to show you as well, all yarn the day that I went shopping with Rose and Chad was all on 30% discount. So these two balls I picked up for $12 and some cents in US currency, which relates, translates to around, I'm going to say $16 uh, in Canadian. So I got uh, each of these were like just over $8 and $8. So maybe there was a slight discount price, but really with all the travel between and carrying this around, I think I would have done better just shopping at the Michaels in Canada, but I wanted to get this color. So there we have it. It is the Loops and Threads Carousel Twist. I do have this variety of yarn in my collection, but not in this colorway. The colorway is called Jeans Shorts. Now, I don't know what that is from. Maybe ripped off denim jeans, faded denim jeans that have been ripped off to create shorts. Um, possibly seeing Daisy Dukes from Dukes of Hazards wearing uh, her ripped off jean shorts in some color that resembles this, maybe? Who knows? Uh, so yeah, it's a five bulky weight yarn. What else can I tell you about this? It's suggesting here to use a 5.5 millimeter set of knitting needles or crochet hook. It's machine washable and you can tumble dry it, so that's easy care instructions. It's 100% acrylic, made in Turkey. The grams per ball is 150 and I'm getting per ball 213 yards or 195 meters. What else can I tell you about this? I think that's it. The softness factor of this is probably a three out of five. I could wear this against my skin. There's no pinch or scratchiness to it. It's, it's a nice value yarn. And I'm seeing here in the mall of the two strands that there is a base blue, but the faded blue, and then a strand which is a little bit more taut than the faded blue one. Uh, in a malted color that is going from a faded blue, uh, there's like a green and a darker blue in there. So it's very nice. And I'm going to say it's a, it's a even twist, a twist that sort of makes it round, slightly bumpy, only because the strand that is the multicolored is a little bit more rigid and the blue base one seems to be a bit more plump. So yeah, I really like those colors and it was a 30% off. So I think I came out of it okay, but definitely would not buy it at full price at, in the United States. So after the lunch, we ended up going and continuing our way, meeting up with Crystal and we stayed in a hotel. So the next day it happened to be my birthday. And so, we went shopping at a place where we can't shop in Canada because there's no uh, shipping to Canada and there's no other outlets. It's called Hobby Lobby. Now I got yarn down here from I think three collections and I really like the I Love This Yarn collection. It's acrylic and the Yarn Be Soft and Sleek in the DK and then there's also a Anti-Peel Soft and Sleek as well. I, so this is all the yarn that I have purchased from the Hobby Lobby. Uh, it wasn't a 30% off sale. They alternate their weekends where they have uh, sales of 30% and I happened to time it when it wasn't on. But uh, there's a funny story about 
what happened at the register with this yarn when we purchased it. Uh, but I'll get to that at the end of showing you the yarn. All the price points will be in US currency and all of the balls that are from the I Love This Yarn collection way is called is uh, $4.99. Uh, this one that I'm holding is the I Love This Yarn print. That's it there. I don't know whether you can see the, pr the word print. Uh, it's a variety of their collections and it's in another mull. As you can see, I'm on this mull, mull kick right now. So this one is a four weight yarn, not like the other one, which was a bulky from Loops and Threads. And let me tell you a little bit about this. So the colorway of this is called, mm -mm -mm. I always find it hard to see where the color is. It's called Barrett Day, B-E-R-E-T, Day. And I'm getting here earth tones like beiges and browns with a wrap that is a tealish, almost uh, indigo blue. I'm getting old fabric seat covering uh, type, you know, big cushy chair has this type of color arrangement. It's very old school, so I like it. And I got two balls of it. Uh, what else can I tell you? They're suggesting here to use five millimeter set of knitting needles or a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You can machine wash this and tumble dry. So super easy care instructions as well. This one is a little softer than the previous one. So I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of five for softness. And I could wear this against my skin. No issues. It's uh, slightly uh, above average, I would say, uh, soft acrylic. And it's made in Turkey. What else? What else? I think that's it. Oh, the yardage. Okay, I'm getting 142 grams. And in the yards, that translates to 252 yards or 230 meters. 100% acrylic, if I haven't mentioned that already. So that's that one. A nice even twist. There we go. And that's the the wrap of the two strands that meld together. Next up is another variety of the I Love This yarn print. All the stats are the same, same price point, same yardage, just the colour is different and the treatment of the yarn dye. So this one seems to be more of a self-striping. I'm not sure how Thick the stripes would be working this up and I don't know how the transition is as well whether it will be a stark transition uh, where you can see from one instant to the next there's a color change or whether there's a slight blend yeah sort of semi-solid in in the um, colors themselves there seems to be some that are stonewash or have that washed effect which is lovely. I like that too. That's one of my other favorite styles of textures in yarn dyeing. And this colorway is called Lakefront. Really nice. Squish, squish. Same soft factor. This one might be a little bit more, uh, kind of a little bit more rougher. And I would give it, perhaps because of the dye technique, a maybe a two and a half out of five. So somewhere right in the middle. Next one, excuse my head. I absolutely fell in love with this yarn and I'm thinking these variegated style yarns would be good in a hexagon blanket if you're crocheting or knitting smaller pieces that are going to be modular and come together to make a bigger project. So look at that. It is again the I Love This Yarn and it's the print variety, multicolored, has more of the washi style technique. The blending of this one looks slightly different to the previous one that I showed you, which was called, what was that one called? Uh, Lakefront. This one sort of seems like it blends a bit nicer and not so stri a striking different, like from one moment to the next. And the colorway for this one is called Amber Honey. 
I'm getting summer vibes, a beach towel, lovely, lovely, like fun colors. This one is next one is a little bit more, uh, darker and richer in their tone of color. Same yarn. It's the, I love this yarn print. And the color of this one is called instant classic. I got two balls of that. The reason why I got two balls of each is because sometimes when I'm doing a cow, which is what I love making, uh, something to the size of what would be like a slightly drapier kind of cow, I tend to run out of um, one ball of yarn, so 100 grams. I know that these ones are a bit bigger. They're 142 grams. But I just wanted to get that extra bit so that I wouldn't have to change up the colors. Um, and I can keep one project the same with the same yarn. And did I give you the name of that one? I did. Yes, Instant Classic. Next one, I'm getting more of the, the greens, turquoise and reds in that one. I'm seeing those colors. This is more washed out and more muted, not as loud as the previous two that I showed you. And this one is called Green Turquoise Red. <laughs> I did read them earlier because I had done this before and I thought, I'm not making any sense. I still ain't, but this one here, it's called Sunset. And I got those two as well. So not as bright, not as striking as the others, but a nice subtle change in the color striping. Really like those as well. Uh, the next one I have is still the I Love This Yarn, but it's in a different collection. It's called Stonewash. Uh, can you see that there? Stonewash. Um, and that one is in the colorway teal. Same stats as the previous one, which was the print variety. Look at that. You see the stripe, uh, the tonal variety heathered in some parts, which some people called the stone wash effect. So it's kind of like got darker and lighter bits. Really interesting when it knits up or crochets up, giving it an extra texture dimension. And one more, try not to drop this box here, <laughs> is this stone wash is called Walnut and I got three of those. I thought this would be a nice one to do a bigger project. Love that. So I'm going to move now on to the soft and sleek and this is also $4.99 seems to be the magic number. This is the yarn, the soft and sleek low peel fiber. That's it there. Rose also got a, a couple of balls of these as well. And when she had them in her hand, I was like, Hmm, I'm going to get some of those too. Cause this is a beautiful purple and it has uh, red, more red or purple, and then a more bluer purple in there. And we getting that same wash feel where you're seeing some of the, uh, undyed part of the yarn. So I've got three of those. Let's see what the breakdown of this one is. It's saying here to use a five millimeter set of kneading needles or a five millimeter crochet hook. And in this I'm getting, uh, it's 114 grams and I'm getting 186 uh, yards or 170 meters. I can machine wash this. It's considered a four weight yarn and it's got the tumble dryer with a couple of lines underneath it. So I'm not sure whether that says I can tumble dry it or not, that symbol. Uh, where are you made? It's called Berry Mix. And I don't know where it's made. Made in Turkey. There we go. So I've got three of those. I've actually had this colorway in my collection before and I made hats out of them and they were very, very soft. So I'm going to rate this one as at 
4.5 as well out of 5 for softness. And it's got a lovely twist. I've used it before. There was a little bit of splitting, but then I changed up my implement to a more duller tip and it worked better. But yeah, it has a nice spring to it as well. I remember working with it and it had some give. So if you're working on stitches that require going back into a few times, uh, this is a really nice yarn to do that with. The last thing that I have here in my Hobby Lobby is I kind of redress this uh, ball. Uh, it's well known for doing what I'm going to tell you happens to these donuts. Um, the Yambi Soft and Sleek DK Low Peel Fiber. So it's like the previous one that I showed you, but it is in a uh, DK instead of a worsted weight. And the color is more of a solid, but with some heather variety to it. So this is the one color with uh, tones of that color. And it's very, very soft. This one I'm going to give maybe a 3.5 out of 5. So it's a little bit more of the softer side of what I have shown you so far. And it is $4.99 as well. Here's that number again. Uh, what can I tell you about this one? It is suggesting here to use a 4mm set of knitting needles and it looks to be a 4.5mm set a crochet hook. In this, I'm getting 114 grams, which offers up 478 yards or 427 meters. I think that's a 27 or 37. 27 or 37? I don't know. One of those two. Anyway, it's so small that even the camera won't pick it up. It is saying here that the color is called Irish Rain. It's very apt. And it's made in Turkey. I really like that. So I've got two balls of those. And I have used the linen in this yarn for a project, a shawl, and I used two balls of it. Was it two balls? That was one ball, but I shared it with another yarn. So I think because I've got two of them, I can do a nice mid-range shawl in just using these two balls. And that was a crocheted one too, so... Yep. Okay, I almost forgot to tell you about the what happened at the end of all of the shopping in Hobby Lobby. So I wheeled my cart, I was very proud of it, uh, to the register and Chad, I'm, I'm setting everything up, Chad said to me, I'm going to get this because it's your birthday and um, so I won't take no for an answer. I've been waiting to, you know, um, buy you the yarn for your birthday present. So I was like, okay, thanks. This is great. Are you sure? And he said, yeah, yeah, I want to do it. So I'm putting all the yarn up on the register. The lady's counting them all. And uh, so he's getting ready to pay as soon as she tells him the total. And then before we know it, Crystal has come in and um, bumped him off the the trail of like paying and she has a card ready and I'm like no no this can't happen so I, I bumped Crystal off and we're like these bumper cards but I didn't have my card ready and I'm like Chad go in there Chad but I think uh Chad didn't understand what was going on so then she <laughs> managed to get her card in and she paid for my yarn so <laughs> it was I think it was a sight to see Honestly, I think the checkout person was uh, amu amused and she was giggling at us. Uh, but I want to say thank you so much, Crystal, for that. That was not necessary at all. And I do love all this yarn. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, so then we went back to Crystal's place. We had uh, some cake to celebrate my birthday and a beautiful banquet, which I think I mentioned in the last video of sushi and uh, then we did gift exchanges so I got this from from Rose it's a bag that says no drama llama and inside are all goodies I got a bag of uh, tea 
and it's got all different teas in here. So there's hibiscus tea, and there is, so that's loose leaf, I think. And there is this tea here called coconut chamomile herbal tea. I do drink tea of a night time. And I got some packages of Twinings individual bags, and they're all different flavors. So I've got passion flower, I've got I don't know what that one is. That looks like pineapple uh, in another language, maybe. And this is supportive ginger. I've got orange and, cin and cinnamon spice. And a few more here. What's this one called? This one is called Apogen's Calm Tea. Another supportive ginger. And then there is unwinding passion flower and another orange cinnamon. So I've got a few here, which will take me a, a couple of weeks to get through, but I do like my varieties when it gets to uh, the night time. And I, I like going for the non-caffeinated beverage. I also got <clears throat> a fistful of different knittings uh, needles with cables and I've used the loops and threads once before but not the other ones uh, so I'm really interested to see how they work up and some of them are um, metal some of them are acrylic and or plastic and there's another loops and threads one and a bag of all different goodies that I can use for my needle so I've got the gauge and the ruler I've got some needle stoppers and yarn, uh, sorry, they're stitch holders and also stitch markers for knitting, which I think uh, Rose wouldn't use because uh, she prefers to crochet. Thank you, Rose. This is awesome. And also I got this wonderful bag made out of fabric that has different chocolates. So Rose told me it was one of the two or three bags that Debbie, the Canadian crutcheter, made for her. Uh, so I got a Debbie, the Canadian crutcheter bag. So I love it. I love it. It's giving me all the chocolate vibes. Those are decadent chocolates. And inside there is <clears throat> crinkly. Sorry. It is... Uh, well protected and they're all nice and tidy in here. They're the Hobby Christmas Cakes. So there are four different colorways and maybe I can make something with these for Christmas. So thank you, Rose. It's very, very generous of you and you didn't have to do it, but um, I know that you enjoy giving. So thank you so much for that. Now, I did go to Trader Joe's when I was in Chicago, so I got this bag. I picked up this bag from Chicago. I love, I love the designs on here. And I put some special yarn that I received from Crystal. I will start with this one. This one is a ship jizz. I know I'm saying that incorrectly. Ship jizz? Uh, whirly gig and it's the I think it's a, a DK weight yarn it's got the most beautiful gradation from the yellow to the green turquoise uh, no that's teal on the end love that it's so nice excuse me so this yarn is uh, if I can read through the bag, it says it's 20% alpaca, 80% virgin wool. They're suggesting to use a 3.5 to a 4 millimeter set of kneading needles or crochet hook. The washing instructions on this one is... Uh, mm, I don't know what those are. I think it would be to hand wash and lay flat to dry is what I'm getting from the symbols. It's called teal to yellow. I agree with that. Uh, what else did they say? Did they give me how much yards? I'm going to take it out so I can feel it. 
Let's take it out, shall we? <gasps> oh, that's nice. Look at that. Mmm, that's soft. Okay, that is definitely going to rate in my books a four out of five for softness. It's very squishy. I could wear this against my skin with no issues, no pinching, no rustic feel. And it looks to me like these are separate strands. They're kind of separate strands, but they cling together like they're the alpaca part maybe clings makes them clingy. But yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice DK weight yarn. So can I tell you the measurement? No, it doesn't give me how much yarn. So it's made in China. And there's no, I don't think there's any measurements on this, but oh, it, smells, it smells really good. I like that. I'm going to put that back in this bag. And when I'm ready to use it, I'll take it out of the bag. But I love that. Thank you so much, Crystal. It was very generous of you and you didn't have to do it. So the next thing I got, it, this blew, blows my mind. This is a bag of 100% cashmere and it's in the Halo base by Yarn Snob. And that's a hand dyed, that's a, a hand dyed yarn from Keith. He has uh, a website called, I think it used to be called Yarn Snob, but he changed the name. And I'll include it down below in the description box. But this is the color. There are a lot of little variances in this one hank of the various teal colors. And this was a color that Crystal had asked me to pick a favorite uh like swatch and i was to send it to her and then she would get the yarn dyed in the colorway and it was a perfect match to the swatch that i sent uh which happened to be like a a gray teal um and i absolutely love this yarn so it's 55 gram hank offering up 182 meters or 199 yards they're suggesting here to, oh, sorry, there's no, there's no, um, it's a, is that a DK or a sport weight? Hmm, I think that might be a sport weight. Yeah. Kind of like a thick sport weight or a thin three very very soft so this one in my my mind is like a 4.5 out of 5 it's very very soft and you can wear I could wear this against my skin so I can't give you any information on uh, any washing instructions but I'm definitely going to hand wash and lay flat to dry because it is a hundred percent cashmere and and because it's such an exquisite yarn, I don't want to wreck it by putting it in the washing machine or tumble dryer. So this is going to be shaped every time that I uh, should wash my thing that I make with it. I'm thinking about making a trench coat or a duster jacket because it is a, a lightweight yarn. I think I need, it's probably going to be more of a duster jacket. But I have got 12 hanks of this and look at that color it's beautiful i love it so much thank you crystal this is like above and beyond i love it love it love it i have i have 12 hanks of it and i'm getting all the different tones under undertones of it being there's, I'm seeing uh, more green 
aqua. I'm, I'm seeing more grey at some points, and then I'm, I'm seeing like all the different colours. There's a bit of emerald in there. Sort of a bit of everything. And turquoise. All of those are coming out. They're all in this wonderful bag. So I've got 12 of them. And that's going to be plenty to do my duster jacket. I just have to find a good pattern or maybe I can create something of my own uh, and I'll ch check out what sort of stitches work really nicely with this yarn, whether I can do some textured stitches because I believe with it, the colour being the way it is and slightly heathered, I'm going to be able to have great stitch definition if I'm choosing something more intricate. So thank you so much. This was a wonderful birthday gift and it was definitely something that made my day that much special because of the exquisiteness. I, I love it. Thank you. Thank you to the Bod family for this beautiful gift and the experience when I visited. After spending the day and the evening with the Bud family, we were ready to hit the road the next day. We did have a quick breakfast with Eric and Crystal before making the departure back to Chicago. About an hour and a half into the drive, we surprised another YouTuber by stopping and saying hi at Hobby Lobby, and that was Lisa. Happy to Hook Creations is her channel name. I'll link her down below as well. And we didn't buy anything. We just sort of window shop. Plus I had all that yarn to pack, so I didn't have any room for any more yarn. And we ended up going, being invited back to Lisa's house. Uh, we saw her yarn room. We helped her sort some colors. And we uh, there were some boxes of yarn that she was needing to be put away and uh, she didn't have any time, so me and Rose got to work and had some fun. Uh, we spent maybe an hour with her at her home before we left, and then we got back to Chicago. Uh, Rose bid us farewell, and it was so great. I you know, hugged her, and I said, you know, we're going to see each other again, I'm sure, because we always have a great time together. I did manage to find a local yarn store in Chicago that I visited as well the day before we were flying home. And I want to mention them as well because this is a local yarn store, so a small shop, and they're called Yarnify. I will leave the link to their website down below. Now, they sold some local yarn dyers, some of which no longer dye yarn. So I thought, I'm going to grab something that's really rare and is not uh, going to be continued any longer because they're not dying yarn and I wanted to grab one that was a brand that I had heard of before and I have in my collection so let me show you them uh, and it has the price on here as well in US currency so this is the yarn dyer that no longer dyes yarn and I love this color it, there are grays in here with some dark blues and dark browns so I'm getting all the urban vibes and luckily it is called Urban Sprawl, so I agree. On a kind of moody day, and this is from a yarn dye called Stitch Together. That's the symbol there, or the, their logo. And it is uh, on the base called Stitch Smooth Sock, which is 75 Superwash Merino and 25% Nylon. It's very bouncy and it's a sock weight yarn uh in this 100 grams i'm getting 460 it looks like 63 yards and it was 35 us dollars there it is there again the second one i got was from um a sale bin they had a back room where they had uh sale bins of different values so i got this one here for 25 us dollars and it's from Knit, Knitted Wit Sock Yarn. And it is the Parasashif colour. Just let you see that because I'm not sure whether I'm pronouncing that correctly. 
There you go. And this one is 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon. It's uh, four ounces, which is, uh, I think it's 120, 125 grams. And it's 420 yards. It's hand wash and lay flat to dry. And I love those colors. It's very, very soft and bouncy. Mm, I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five for softness. And this one here, probably the same, three and a half out of five for softness. This one has less dye that is included. And I got this from the bin of $25. Now they had this hank as well on the rack. I think there might be some type of um, break in the yarn that made it cheaper or in the sale bin because the one that was in on the rack was for $40. Uh, so I, I don't mind if there was a break. I just tie it up, use a Russian knot and continue using the yarn. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So that in includes all of the yarn and the visits that I had with the YouTubers that I met along my way in my trip. I had such a great time. And the next video that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be showing some uh, works in progress and finished work that I had gifted away. Uh, so I'll talk about travel projects as well because I was traveling with these projects. And I hope that you'll join in then. And until then, keep well. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.